All right, it's like 4 a.m. And we told our boys that we're gonna give them a surprise, but they don't know what it is. We're gonna go wake them up right now, get on an airplane, and head out to Utah to see the bus. And so we'll see how this goes, because they don't wake up at 4 a.m. All right, we have made it from Dallas to Salt Lake, and we've finally driven up here to Ogden where our bus is being built, and uh, just got here, so we're gonna go check it out. You can see our bus there behind us. Uh, the boys here with me, both of them. <laughs> we've made it here. They don't know we're here yet, so we're just gonna kinda go up and tour around the bus and see how see how it's going and then uh, then we'll go see if anybody's inside so come along let's uh, check this out all right so here's our bus looks like they might be working on it right now I'm gonna check this out over here it looks like this is where they're putting in some of our tanks Things going on. Looks like they got another bus there in the bay. Uh, power inverters and whatnot. Okay, so here we go around the back. All right, boys, you want to lead the way? Yeah. Show us what's up here. Let's take a look here. Right here, it looks like, oh, they've still got all of our sheets and blankets and stuff. Uh, that looks like, that's our shower running into the tank there. And then, all right, so we're gonna go in the back door here. Guys, let's go, let's check it out down here first. know if anybody's oh, actually sounds like somebody's upstairs um so this is what we got going on up front looks like they're so i think our plan right here over this wheel well and uh for anybody that's watched or paid attention like these are this is a pretty big wheel well so they had to build these out. And I think the plan on top of this one is like a, a refrigerator. It's, it's only about three feet of space. And so we're gonna put a, like an under cabinet refrigerator right there. And then on this side, an under cabinet freezer. Um, up here, we're gonna have a couple of seats from before the build. We just saved a couple of the seats. So we're gonna put those up there. We've got my control panel here, cockpit. And then on this side, so this is behind driver's seat. And if you'll notice, if any of you are looking at building the same, a similar bus, this down here, we've got, uh, this is about nine inches. It's a nine inch riser and it goes all the way from the back, all the way up to the very front is this like, it's like a deck but under here is in all in these panels is all of our um like air tanks and and things like that so it's really a pain to try to move that we were going to try to move the whole deck up on its side or something it just wasn't going to work so we're going to leave it there we're going to put our um stove everything right here and there'll be behind the stove there'll be some cabinetry that's uh, kind of over the windows a little bit. We'll have a couch right here that folds out into a table and comes together as a bed because there'll be another couch directly across from it. And then on this side is where our sink is gonna be. And we'll have our sink here. So we've got the kitchen up front and then we've got our dining towards the back. This bathroom, we are leaving the bathroom pretty much how it is. I mean, we're, we'll obviously finish it off so it looks more homey and not like a 
you know. Oh no, it got scratched. Like that, but um all right, let's take a look upstairs. That there is our shower. So halfway up the stairs, we have a pretty nice looking shower area. Ooh. They're still building. Um so that's our shower. It's pretty tall because because it's it's down lower than the rest of the floor. Um, so I can stand in this no problem. It's, I wanna say it's seven foot tall in the shower. Um, we'll have the shower over here and we're actually gonna put skylight uh, skylights in up here. Uh, so we'll get some skylights cause this'll all be, this'll all kind of be covered there. And then uh, the rest of the stairway up, obviously we've got the beds at the top of the stairs. You've seen those if you've seen some of the videos before. Well, then we'll come back kind of around the shower. We've got, uh, that'll be the sink that goes right on top of the toilet, kind of the toilet back. You may have seen some of those style sinks and toilet combos. So that's gonna go right there. And then we have the rest of the kids' beds. And then behind the kids' beds, we've got a decent amount of space storage back here where we'll uh we'll add some dresser type of stuff all right now to the front of the bus looks like looks like somebody snuck out behind me because there was somebody up here um we're gonna have our washer dryer all in one unit right here so it's just a single unit from lg it's ventless so we don't have to vent it out or anything like that but it's just going to go right there at the top of the kind of at the top of the stairs. Um, we'll have a couch over here and a TV over here, and then we'll do the opposite. We'll do a couch here and a TV over here. And then right at the very front of the bus here is where we're going to build our master bedroom, if you want to call it that, right? We're, our, we'll have a king bed up here uh, towards the front of the bus. And, all the way around the king bed, you'll be able to walk all the way around it. Um, and during the day, I don't wanna give too much away, but during the day, it'll be a usable space for the kids, a uh, usable play space for the kids. And uh, at night, it'll be completely shut off um, as, a, as a room. Um, so it'll be a pretty nice space. We'll have, we'll be able to keep an eye on the kids, but at the same time, have our privacy. So that's uh that's the bus it looks uh looks like they they've been getting quite a bit done in here um all of all the electrical is done we've got electrical outlets all over the place um there every one of the every one of the bed areas has electrical uh, outlets that all work everything's good to go so we are excited now let's go see if we can find these guys inside here somewhere. So they uh, they knew we we're coming, but and they they must know we're here at this point because somebody walked out behind me while I was showing the downstairs. So we'll uh, we'll run inside, see if we can grab Tony or Reggie or one of the guys that's uh, that's working on the build. Um, we're having this built by Apex Customs Utah. Uh, up here in Ogden. They are doing a ton of schoolies. I may show you guys some of the other buses they're working on. So let me flip this around and uh, and we'll get a good look. All right, so they've got that one there in the shop. They've got that one over there. Look at that, there's okay. Reggie. I told you we'd run into the guys out here. Um, and then I was just looking in their, in their yard here. There's Tony and some of the guys. They got a bunch of schoolies down there. They've got like four or five that they're working on, a couple vans. But yeah, this is a, they got a pretty great shop here. And we are incredibly excited for our bus.
extra four days stuck in Salt Lake City. We are finally on the airplane home. Hopefully we'll be back in Dallas shortly. But we were able to check out the bus and see everything. So we're excited to uh, to get going. We're excited that the, the bus is, is about halfway there. Uh, just needs to finish, finish up the insides and cabinetry and things like that. But we're excited about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.